Hey everybody, welcome to the video. I'm doing some car camping for the next five days through the Rocky Mountains from uh, Calgary to Kamloops. So I thought it'd be fun to make a little video on this to show you some of the changes I made to the uh, Car Camper Corolla, AKA the Car V. And so what I'm gonna do is just show you some of the little changes I made to make it a little bit more comfortable, make it a bit more useful. And I'm also gonna be doing some fishing here too. So I'll show you a little bit of compact camping and how you can have some fun doing that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we catch some fish too. All right, well, we made it out here. So what I wanna do is just get my uh, car V set up and uh, I also brought a tent with me that I'm just gonna use as a little storage shed It's like a $40 one from Walmart So I guess I'm kind of cheating because I've got a tent in addition to the car V But just figured it'd be a little bit easier to store my stuff in and uh, while I'm out for the day I can hold the campsites as you can see I've made a few little changes to it So uh, I tacked down the fabric and left the corner wings on just as wood and I did take that front uh, piece off as well which was my little folding kind of table to extend it and this was a big mistake I think I thought I could just get some more room out of it but um, there's a bit of a head chasm right now uh, I'm out for five or six days here so I thought oh I'll need the extra room but I think this was a mistake to actually do unfortunately um, but I do have some coolers here are gonna that are gonna fill the gaps so hopefully my head isn't gonna be laying in the head chasm all night I would say that this is one of the bigger things that I changed too, is just putting in a little cubby here. Uh, and this was to put my camera stuff into and just kind of make a little bit of a, um, a nook to hide stuff as well. Uh, I'm going to put a faceplate across this uh, eventually, but for right now this is all I've got finished on it. Um, but it's just a little cubby, you can see. And it just sits in the corner. It just sits in the corner here. And then on the other side here, of course, I have my original flaps. So that's where all my cookware is sitting right now. So I've got the little compact flat pans and everything. So nice and compact for camping. The other brilliant slash not so brilliant move I pulled was to uh, bring the Thermarest instead of my sweet trifold mattress. Uh, Thermarests suck. I think they're fine, I guess, for one night, but for five nights, it's a little bit rough. And so I stayed on it one, one night last night and I've just started kind of filming today. But um, yeah, it's a little bit rough, I'm gonna say. I would really like my cotton, or I really like my foam trifold mattress back. One of the other things I've done is just grab a organizer uh, for the car. So uh, this has been awesome, it stays in place. This is just one I think I got off of Amazon, but it makes everything a lot easier for storage and if you have licenses to just pack them in there. I did a brilliant maneuver. And as you can see, I dumped a whole bunch of coffee beans in there. So I'll wrap up your coffee as well, so you don't do that. All right, so it's not too complex what I'm doing here for my setup. I'm keeping it relatively simple and just made a couple adjustments because it's a longer trip. But um, I've got all my fishing stuff here ready to go. And so what I'm gonna do is hopefully go get some fish and then uh, snuggle up into that warm bed. All right, dinner is going to be fish or hot dogs depending on my level of skill and luck today. So I'm hoping we catch a nice little lake trout and I uh, will hopefully clean them up, pan fry them and uh, maybe have some sausages too because I still like hot dogs, so we'll see what we do. Oh! Got one on there. Okay, I gotta keep that tension here. Got a nice little white fish again. Just do a quick one. One of the other things that I found really, really useful in terms of car camping is just to buy inflatable uh, boats or things like that. Uh, they're really fun. I had a little inflatable kayak from Intex. I have two of their um, boats that are inflatable because they fit in the Corolla really nicely and they just add so much to uh, car camping, especially if you're by water. I was in BC and in Kamloops and so it was just awesome to have a kayak with me and obviously 
if you're car camping space being that issue um, it's really nice to have just some inflatable gear and they make some stuff that's pretty good quality I took that out on some rugged waters and it was uh, it, it lasted and it did a did a really good job this has been another thing that's been nice to have on the trip is just some collapsible pans and pots uh, they just take up very little room and makes it a lot easier when you're uh, doing dishes and stuff too because there's just less surface area to clean. Since this is the last day of my trip I'm making something a little bit messy with some pancakes and so I'm just gonna heat up the pan here and hopefully we'll be ready to go soon. So as you can see, I haven't made too many crazy adjustments. I would say that I've kept it really simple overall. I just had to make some adjustments because it's a longer trip. Uh, so five, six days, you know, you gotta make some adjustments to stay comfortable. And then also just manage your gear as well. So I think I have a relatively medium amount of gear. And then I just have my little pop-up tent as well that I got from Walmart for 40 bucks. Uh, and I, the reason I have a tent with me as well is just to keep my campsite. So uh, some of the campsites won't let you stay at them unless you have something holding your campsite. So I do have a tent there and then I've just used it as a storage shed for my gear during the day, which works out really nicely. I wouldn't trust that tent to keep me dry, um, but it is a nice little thing to have if I just need to throw stuff in it for the day or if I need to um, if I need to hold the campsite. So yeah, super useful to have that. I hope the video was useful to you and I hope it was a little bit of fun to come out camping with me here at Spray Lakes. It's a beautiful part of Canada. It's nice to be up in the Rocky Mountains. Anyways, we'll catch you in the next video.